So you guys send me a lot of questions on Twitter about different things about the Switch, whether it's questions about something not working or, or maybe opinions on a game. And one question I get actually more than I thought I would is what's actually inside a Switch game, like the physical cartridge, what is in there? And I figured it wasn't a big deal, so I didn't really do much about it when it first came out. Um, but I keep getting the same question, so I figure, you know what, let's open a cartridge and take a look. I did pick my cheapest game, just in case I do break it, and it's one that's pretty much available at all the GameStops around me. I called around, that's Has Been Heroes. I figure we'll pop it open. Um, the way the cartridge appears to work is it looks like you have to pry it open, so it may not go back together, um, which is why I'm not going to do like Zelda or Mario Kart or something, because I don't want to have to buy another $6 game, but... I figure we'll open this one up and uh, I guess take a look what's going on inside. I already have a good idea. It's a flash chip in there, um, but some people may be curious as to what it looks like exactly in their Switch cartridge. So I guess let's take it apart. So my first thought here with this cartridge was to kind of pry it open using my fingernail. I figured that would at least keep it from being damaged too much, but I did find pretty quickly that I could not uh, get the thing apart with just my fingernail. So after trying for quite a while, I went ahead and just jumped over to using a flathead screwdriver and said, you know what, I'm probably gonna break it anyway. So let's just pry it open with a screwdriver. After using the screwdriver, I managed to get it apart from the bottom first. That seemed to be the best place to get it. Uh, I guess just there's not as much keeping it together down there as opposed at the top where it's mostly solid. At the bottom, of course, it has those openings for the connectors, so that's probably why it's the weakest. After popping it open there, the rest slowly came apart. One side, for some reason, got stuck, but I pretty much ripped it open. After looking at it, you could see that it was pretty much sealed up. It wasn't meant to come apart. There's no clips that hold it together or anything. It's pretty much just sealed up. So after getting that apart, I took a look at the chip, and it looks like a standard flash chip. I did look up the number on the chip, and it comes up to nothing. It looks like a custom chip that maybe Nintendo is using, or they're not printing any type of common stamp on it to tell us like what it is. The Google search of that number leads to a few forum threads of people trying to reverse engineer the cartridge themselves to either dump the game from there, or just, I guess, trying to learn more about it. Which it sounds like they pulled the same number from Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild on the Switch. So it looks like Has Been Heroes and Zelda use a similar chip, um, which seems weird because Has Been Heroes obviously is much smaller in size than Zelda. I'm not really sure why both chips would have similar etchings on them or print on them. You figure maybe the chips are differentiated by the like the numbers on them. That's usually what they do to identify the chips. Not so much here. Uh, by the way, this chip is not going to be going back together. It is pretty much broken, so I will have to get another Has Been Heroes. But it's only 20 bucks, and I figure it was worth looking inside at this. And just in case anyone's interested on the back, you do have your pin connectors. And the way that works is by going through via holes on on the motherboard it can kind of switch sides and then run down to the connector from that chip so it's pretty straightforward now i don't really know why you'd have to open a switch uh, cartridge in the future unless they get extremely rare and maybe one gets some water damage on it the nice thing here is uh, as long as it's not uh, damaged too much with water you can clean these because there's not much going on inside that are like capacitors so these are pretty sturdy looking cartridges inside i hope you guys enjoyed this look inside a nintendo switch cartridge if you have any questions about it let me know down below and i'll answer any questions you guys have in the comments thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time